Thank you. Thank you for you. All right. We welcome everyone to this April 29th meeting of the Corsicana ISD Board of Trustees. This is a special meeting, and all items that will be discussed have been duly posted. While this is a meeting in public, it is not a meeting of the public. If you wish to speak, please register in the lobby on the audience for guest form and follow the information on the speaker form. The board's role is to set goals, approve personnel and budgets, make policy, and provide oversight. We are not here to manage or solve individual problems. Management is a responsibility of the superintendent. As a board, we believe that we must educate every child, provide every child the greatest opportunity to learn, and maintain a safe and secure environment mentally, physically, emotionally, and academically. These are our core values, and we appreciate your interest in the students of CISD. We have a quorum. All members are present. Ms. Harrison, any audience for guests? All right, thank you. All right. We are going to. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we don't. We do not need to go into a closed session. Unless you want to. Unless we want. To, do y'all want to? No. no. I, I think we know we're here. Let's call it. All right. So we will discuss the appointment of our loan finalist. So we will need a motion. I make a motion that we hire Stephanie Howe as the new superintendent of CISD. Second. Second. Okay, Brian, second. Got a first and a second. A motion and a second, excuse me, uh, to uh, hire Stephanie Howe as the new superintendent of Corsicana ISD. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. <laughs> Ayes have it. <laughs> applause for Stephanie. And uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone. Um, this was a long, arduous process. We talked about that several times. And uh, as a board, I think we found the right superintendent for the job that can take over Dr. Frost's long legacy here at Say I Stay, and I want to thank Dr. Frost for 14 years of very dedicated service. <laughs> All right. And I can make everybody cry today. <laughs> I'm good at this. All right, um, is, there, is there refreshments and stuff in the back? Yeah. Okay, so we've got refreshments and um, drinks in the back, so get an opportunity to meet our new superintendent. And uh, we're going to go to... Would she like to say Oh, yeah, do you have anything to say? Let me. Oh, thank you. Um, 
I didn't think I was going to have to do that. But thank you to everybody who supported me. I'm so thankful for Dr. Frost, my family, for over the past 20 years supporting me through this journey. Um, I couldn't have done it without everybody, but this is my home, and this is where I plan to be and forever. So thank you for trusting me, and I look forward to working with everybody. Okay, we are going to go adjourn into closed session as permitted by Texas Government Code Section 551.01.
Thank you, everyone. We're back from closed session. Okay, let's let's take action on closed session. I make a motion to nominate um, Seth Brown as president, Jamie Roman as vice president, and Brad Farmer as secretary. Copy queen. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Got to be quick. That was famous. My word. time is almost up. <laughs> we rehearsed that perfect. <laughs> you uh, just, uh, 14 years. I did, I did. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So, so we have nominations for new board officers. Myself as president. We have Jamie Roman as vice president and Brad Farmer as secretary. All those in favor, say aye. aye. All those opposed, say no. Ayes have it, and we have reorganized our board. Congratulations. We got to seats. You can do one more time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, all right. Now, do we do something? Okay. All right. So now we're going to announce a board training credit. So I'm sorry, I'm going to prepare you. I have a very long spill. Under State Board of Education rule, completing required continuing education each year of service is a basic obligation and expectation of any sitting board member. As board president, I'm, I'm required to announce the names of each member who is at the member's anniversary of election or appointment to the board, has completed the required continuing education, has exceeded the required continuing education and is deficient in meeting the required continuing education. The requirements for training are measured as of the first anniversary of the date of the trustee's election or appointment or two year anniversary of his or her previous training as applicable. There are seven training areas for board members continuing education. One, local district orientation. Two, orientation to the Texas Education Code. Three, team building. Four, additional continuing education. Five, evaluating student academic performance and setting goals. And number six, identifying and reporting abuse, trafficking, or other maltreatment of children. To the extent applicable to each board member, I will announce the completion or deficiency as to required training. For board members who still have time remaining to complete required training, I will announce those board members who have scheduled timely training and those who have yet not scheduled the training. At the conclusion of this announcement, I will announce any board members training in excess of the continuing education requirements. Local district orientation, we have no first year board members. An introduction to the Texas Education Code, we have no first year board members. Post-legislative update. The following board members have completed the post-legislative update. Barbara Kelly, Brad Farmer, Kathy Branch, Jimmy Roman, Kamar Chambers, Seth Brown. Team building. The, fo the following board members have completed the annual team building training. Jimmy Roman, Kathy Branch, Kamar Chambers, Barbara Kelly, Seth Brown, and Brad Farmer. Evaluating and improving student outcomes. This training must be completed every two years, formerly Senate Bill 1566 training. The following board members will complete this biennial training at the end of this board meeting tonight. Jamie Roman, Kathy Branch, Kamar Chambers, Barbara Kelly, Seth Brown, Brad Farmer. Child abuse prevention. The training must be completed every two years. The following board members have completed the biennial training on identifying and reporting abuse and trafficking and other maltreatment of children. Kathy Branch, Kamar Chambers, Barbara Kelly, Jamie Roman, Brad Farmer, and Seth Brown. Exceeding required continuing educations. Board member Barbara Kelly exceeded the requirement, required amount of continuing education by 10.5 additional hours. 
Board Member Kamar Chambers exceeded the required amount of continuing education training by 5.5 hours. Board Member Brad Farmer exceeded the required amount of continuing education training by five hours. Board Member Seth Brown exceeded the required amount of continuing education training by five hours. Board Member Jamie Roman exceeded the amount of continuing education training by five hours. And Board Member Kathy Branch exceeded the required amount of continuing education training by five hours. Barbara, I won't beat you next year. <laughs> Where my certificate at? <laughs> Meryl has it. <laughs> but I'm going to get you next year, okay? All right. I just want to say this before y'all we go to the next. Um, I have enjoyed um, learning. You know, my 14 years of training, I'm all about it. You know, I'm because I'm a school board member, so I'm all about education. So I went above and beyond. When it comes down to training, I took my training serious. I did. I, I, I did extra. And I just, I just want to tell my fellow board members, it, it, it's a lot. You know, and I know we, we y'all work full time, but I know y'all are committed to education, and I know you guys are going to go above, me, above and beyond the training. And we, we, and you learn so much. So, anyway, thank you so much. Thank you to everybody. I love y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next, we're going to go to TEAK certification. Good afternoon, Dr. Frost, Dr. Brown, distinguished members of the board. I'm here today to request approval for the instructional materials allotment TEAK certification for the 2024-2025 school year, as presented in the board book. The TEAK certification process requires that Corsicana ISD certify annually to the State Board of Education and the Commissioner that students have access to instructional materials covering all TEAKs. The TEAK certification documents also require that we certify we are in compliance with the Children's Internet Protection Act. The attached TEAK certification document contains the instructional resources the district uses. The listed resources include both full subject instructional materials and supplemental materials the district is using in grades K through 12. Tim, this is an action item. We've had this in our board book. Does anybody have any questions for Dr. Hall? If not, I'll entertain a motion. I move that the board certifies certifies that the instructional materials used by the district meet the criteria listed on the instructional materials allotment and TEKS certification form for 2024 and 2025. Second. We have a motion and a second to certify that the instructional materials used by the district meet the criteria listed on the instructional materials allotment and TEKS certification form for 2024-2025. All those in favor say aye. aye. All those opposed say no. Ayes have it. And we have certified the instructional materials to be used by the district. Meet the criteria listed on the instructional materials allotment and TEAK certification form for 2024 2025. Um, at this time, and I do have Ms. Ware and Ms. Gafford here as well, if y'all want to come up here too as well. Um, at this time, I am pleased to provide an update on the Gifted and Talented Program in Corsicana ISD. As of the 2023-2024 school year, we had a little over 12% of our students enrolled in the Gifted and Talented Program. The enrollment numbers by grade level are displayed in the table here. So I think right up here. So we have 12.1 students, and then the the overall uh, student count by enrollment is by grade level is in the table. At Corsicana ISD, we define gifted and talented students as those who exhibit high performance capability and intellectual ability or excel in one or more specific academic fields. To identify GT students, we use a minimum of three criteria, including the NGAT test, which is this one right here, as well as two other criteria. 
which we administer to all kindergarten and fourth grade students, as well as screening students nominated by school personnel, community members, or self-nominations by students. We also host GT showcases in the fall and the spring, which allow our students in first through sixth grade to display their work and inform those attending how they created their project. This past fall, over 350 stakeholders attended the event, and we hope to see even more this year to, or more in this, this spring to support our students. The spring showcase is set for the week of May 6th through the 9th, and the times are from 1130 to 1215. We offer advanced courses in the upper grades, and this year over 87 GT students have taken AP or dual credit classes for college credit. Most of the 87 students are not just taking one class. Many GT students are stacking their AP and dual credit classes to enhance their high school experience. So to give you an example, we have approximately 170 GT students, and 87 of those are taking advantage of the AP and dual credit courses, not just pre-AP, not just honors classes, but AP and dual credit. The structure and content of our GT classes vary by grade level, as you can tell by that table down here. So we have some pullouts, but we also have some classes that the GT supports are embedded in the program. Lastly, for this, we want to make sure that we praise our GT teachers, Mrs. Ware and Mrs. Gafford and Ms. Simington, who couldn't be here tonight, for doing a phenomenal job with our students and creating lessons that are engaging and challenging. They have brought two students here today uh, who want to give you a sneak peek at the projects on display that will be there at the spring showcase. Awesome. And they each have a speech for you as well. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Cassius Wright. I go to Navarro Elementary. One of the projects that we worked on this semester was to design a CEV. A CEV is short for a crew exploration vehicle. Our CEV had to hold two astronauts. The astronauts had to be in a seat so that they wouldn't fall out. But we were allowed to use glue or tape to hold them in. My group held ours in by making a seat belt out of pipe cleaners. We launched our CEVs last week and the furthest ours launched was 102 centimeters. I am going to launch the CEV for you now. I would like to invite you to our GT presenta presentation on May 8th. A lever is made of rigid beam and focal 
mechanical energy is used to operate this machine. The handicap helper is a power lifting device used to transport wheelchairs and users from one level to another. The handicap helper can be used anywhere thanks to its compact compactness. Advantages uh, over other systems is that the wheelchair lifts are ideal for property owners who lack the space to meet the ramp requirements or simply don't want to sacrifice the space to make it accessible. The handicap helper is a machine that will lift disabled people from one level to another safely and practically without the loss of valuable space. Good job to our GT students. We appreciate you coming by and showing us those things. Very much. All right, Ms. Harrison, is there any more audience for guests? All right, thank you. We have consent agenda. I move that we approve the consent agenda. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. All those opposed, say no. The ayes have it. Move approve the consent agenda. I do that for you. I do. All right. <clears throat> so now, are we going to do the board journey? Yeah, we'll go back. We'll, we'll go back in the, the executive session then. Um, but we're not going to the closed session. We'll do the Vader presentation then? They're going to be simultaneous. Okay. So which one do we want to do first? Um, do do the, the board training first. Okay. Now we'll go to board training, evaluating and improving student outcomes. So we have two people here from Region 12. Um, it's, it's about a two-hour training. So I'm going to let the staff know that if they would like to leave, they certainly may. And um, <laughs> If the audience wants to stay, it's um, it's more training session, so you may, but you may, we will not think badly of you if you choose to leave. But if you want to learn about evaluating and improving student outcomes, we're glad to have you here. 